Hey everybody, we have got a heck of an episode for y'all today. It is going to be the NFC West versus the NFC South here as we have traveled all the way to the Sunshine State of Florida taking on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. No, Baker Mayfield is not their quarterback. Instead, Tannehill has returned to the state to take over the Tampa Bay Bucks. Now, welcome back to the channel for those of y'all returning, and for everybody new, welcome to Champ and Sons and our Madden 24 series here with the Arizona Cardinals as we are getting set to take the field here on the road once again. Now, with, you know, we lost our starting quarterback, Logan Schultz, a few weeks ago to a partially torn ACL. So we've had Clayton Toon standing in, and it's been kind of an up and down, you know, Trip, trip for him <laughs> he's had his moments where we've seen some good things we've also had some issues on the field for uh, with him so trying to keep you know just a level steady head going we're going to go ahead and jump into this one on our opening drive as Toon is going to hit Hollywood Brown down the right side for a pretty decent gain all the way down to the 45 picking up 23 yards on that one pass as he was able to get behind the linebackers in that zone coverage and Toon did a pretty good job of actually delivering the ball on target. So that big time play puts us on the plus side of the field here. Trying to get an early start in this one, get going and try to keep things consistent throughout is gonna be big for us if we want to get, uh, basically try to get above 500 with Toon as our starter. Now on first and 10, he's gonna go with an option and I don't know if he could really say he misread that one. The defenders look like they were in place. Toon just may not be the guy to run that option. Keeper, and he's brought down for a two-yard loss, making it second and 12. So here now from the 47, we're going to be in a shotgun formation. Three receivers. Hands it off to Mostert, going to the left. Makes a slight cut and breaks about one tackle before he's finally ganged up on and brought down to the turf for a gain of about three yards, giving us a third and long. And these, you don't want to be in this position too often. Try to avoid it as much as possible. So we're going to come out in a shotgun. Three receivers to the left. Toon has a snap. Quick throw over the middle. He's got more down the seam, and he's going to pick up a good gain of about 25 yards, give or take, all the way down to the 22-yard line. Great sight point by Toon to pick him up on the streak pattern. The linebacker was dropping back, but he delivered that one right before he had the chance to get into the passing lanes. And that's going to go for a big completion down to the 22-yard line and get us set up with a brand new set of downs. So this time we're going to be under center, three tight ends on the line, Hollywood Brown wide left. It's going to be a play action. Toon in the pocket. Tries to take off late, nowhere to go with it, and he's going to be brought down for a sack and a loss of eight yards. Vita Vea came flying through, which is he's one of the main defensive linemen we're going to have to keep a watch on throughout this game as he brings us down all the way back to the 30-yard line now. So second and 18. Toon going to be under center as we have two tight ends in this formation. It's going to be a snap play action. Standing in a pretty clean pocket. Fires it to the right side. He's got Hollywood who's going to walk it into the end zone. Touchdown, Cardinals. Oh, my goodness. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. There's that speed from Hollywood Brown getting out in the open. And then as soon as he caught it, no one was going to beat him to the pylon. And he goes walking in for a touchdown. Probably one of the easier touchdowns he's gotten all season and that Toon has actually thrown. Did a good job of not overthrowing him. The clean pocket, no pressure on him, really helped out there. So now later in the first, about seven minutes remaining, here come the Bucks, trying to get back to level with us. As Tannehill has the snap, hands it off to White, who bounces off one tackler and continues pushing forward. Rashad White, he's got 23 yards already in this opening drive for the Bucks. As they are still, we still lead seven to nothing, but they're trying to get this thing back in uh, to a level ball game. Now Tannehill's going to be in a shotgun. He's got three receivers. He has the snap. Pressure comes, throws it out to the left side, finds his receiver just out there in the flat all alone. Looks like we just forgot to defend him. As Alford makes that catch, he's going to get brought down beyond the line again. It's going to be first and 10 now for the Bucks at the 27. Tannehill's in a shotgun, still going with three receivers. He's got White in the backfield. Play action. No pressure. Fires it over the middle. He almost, he had Godwin, but an uncanny drop by Godwin. You know, Samuel probably did interrupt that one a little bit, but still 
That's one of those plays you would expect someone like Godwin to make the catch on. Thankfully, he does drop it. Now it's second and ten. Bucks are going to come out with three tight ends on the right side of the line here. One receiver off to the left side has the snap. They fired over to Evans real quickly, breaking a tackle. Him still pushing forward. Cole Knight, a rookie, unprepared for what it's like to bring down Mike Evans. He just gets shoved off with ease. And Evans gets it down to the 11-yard line on a gain of about 16 yards right there. So first and 10 now, our defense is bending, trying to avoid the break. Tannehill is going to be under center. Has the snap, hands it off to White. Going to the right side, but he's going to be stuffed for no gain. A great play by Zayvon Collins. And Collins has really come on strong in these last couple games, uh, especially with his run defense and actually being a disruptor in the passing game with the pressure he's been able to add on to the quarterback. So second and 10. Now the Bucks got three tight ends on the left side of the line. White is still alone in the backfield. It's going to be a play action. Snaps, throws it over to the left side, hits his man, breaking one tackle, dodging another. And he's finally brought down by Thomas. I don't know what our defense is doing. They are really not tackling well to start this game out. Moreau probably should have been stopped for no gain once he caught the ball. But instead, two missed tackles, and now it's third and two at the four. And Tannehill's going to be in a pistol formation. Has the snap. Quick throw over the middle. He's hit and makes the catch. Mike Evans got blasted once again by Collins, but couldn't knock the ball free, and he's got it a first down. First and goal at the one. They needed two. He picked up three yards. So first and goal, they're going to come heavy set. I formation to the left side. Tannehill is under center. Has the snap. Hands it off to White up the middle. He's stuffed by Verdon, our rookie. Tyler Taylor Verdon gets blows past the guard. Gets in the backfield, and he's going to stuff White for a one-yard loss. Ojolari came in to help him clean that one up. And that's a big-time play by this defensive front. Getting in the backfield and making that stop tonight. Second and goal from the two this time. So what are they going to do? Are they going to end up going into the backfield, into the running backs, or are they going to uh, look to try to pass off a play action? Tannehill is going to be under center. This time it is going to be a play action. White's full, but Collins is not. He fumbles it, and it's gathered up by Kazir White. Zavin Collins with the strip sack. White with the fumble recovery. What a play by this defense and a goal line stand right there. The play action had a feeling they may go with it. The pressure came right up the gut. Kazir White got tied up by the running back, but Collins was already through and continued with the pressure, and he's going to get the forced fumble. Now later following that fumble here, fifth at the start of the second quarter, Toon drops back to throw a screen pass off. He got hit. He's got Mostert, cuts it out to the right side. Raheem Mostert gets brought down at the 30-yard line. Trying to add on to this lead and make it a two-score game here. Got to be careful with those screen passes. He held on to it just for a little too long and was lucky to get that one away. So now we've got a big-time opportunity. 30 yards away, we are at least in field goal position, I will say. So I'm not afraid to take a 47-yarder with uh, Zane Gonzalez. Toon now is going to be under center. Three tight ends to the right. Mostert alone in the backfield. They bring pressure. Toon stands over, fires it deep down the hill looking for Shepard, and that one's going to be knocked away. Almost intercepted by Winfield. He was reading it all the way, and that's one of those things an inexperienced quarterback you know, you got lucky on that one, but we can't do it too many times. Now on second and ten, handoff to Moser. Going to the left side, making some shifty moves, but doesn't go very far, picking up only two yards on that. And that's going to make it third and eight from the 27-yard line. Tune is going to be in the shotgun. we got three receivers to the left. Ertz, slot right. Deontay Blair in the backfield. Has the snap, fires it over the middle to Ertz. Makes a catch, and he gets just enough to uh, get the first down, gets to the line to gain at the 19-yard line here. First, Ed Tid now for this Cardinals offense after that big-time conversion. You hate to be in third and longs, but you do enjoy when you're able to get them converted. So first and 10, coming out I formation. Mostert in the backfield. It's going to be a play action. Toon drops back, fires it over to the right side to Ertz, and they go up for it, and they collide in air, and that one's going to be knocked away. Never would they call pass interference on that kind of play. That was pretty decent defense. Got to give them credit when, they're, when they've earned it. 
Second and ten now. Three tight ends to the right side once again. Has the snap. Mostert takes a handoff, but they brought a run blitz. Well, they brought a blitzing safety. I'm going to call it a run blitz because we were running on that play. And it disrupted everything just as they would hope. And then we only pick up one yard on that one to make it third and nine. So facing another third and one from the 18-yard line. Tune is going to be in the shotgun. Three receivers. Mostert offset to his right side. Has the snap. Clean pocket. Fires it over, and he's going to hit Watkins over the middle. But unable to escape from his tackler, that's going to bring up fourth down and a field goal. Now later in the second, here we are still leading 10 to nothing here with one minute to go as we fired over and hit Marco Wilson, who's brought down just shy of the goal line at the one. Now there is one minute remaining in the, in the first half. Right, 45 seconds right now as we're going to come heavy set formation. Trying to add on to this lead, make it a three-score game. Toss out to Moser to the right side. Couldn't get away, and he's pushed out at the one. He does go out of bounds, so that will stop the clock here as we still lead 10 to nothing. Our defense has done a good job, especially since that goal line stand of keeping the Bucks kind of at bay. But all momentum is going our way. Second and goal. We have plenty of timeouts, so no need to be in a rush. Heavy set. Hand off to Moser up the middle. He gets hit and stuffed. Their linemen blew up our offensive line. We got no push on that. And their linebackers came through to clean up the mess to make it third and goal now. The clock is moving. We've done that strategically on third and goal. Toon in the shotgun, has the snap. Nowhere to go with it, rolling out to his right, fires in the back of the end zone. He had Hollywood Brown, but it, he definitely did not get his feet down. I don't know where his foot control was, but it definitely wasn't where it should have been. As he, they're going to go to a booth review. Hell, I can see he stepped out of bounds. I'm not sure what they're actually trying to review here. But, hey, I'll let them do it. If they want to give us a touchdown, more power to them. Yeah, I guess you could say he had one foot in, but this isn't college. What That first foot, I don't even think that one would count. He just steps right out of bounds. Poor body control by Hollywood. Not the greatest throw, but you expect a veteran like that to come up and make that catch. So the fourth and goal will stand from the two. Now we have an opportunity here. It's already a two score game. We do lead 10 to nothing. And we're gonna try to keep make this a three score game before the half. So here we come out, fourth and goal. Toon under center, play action. Nobody blocks the edges and Toon goes down. Nobody blocked him as Toon gets brought down quickly for the sack. And that's gonna, end our offense right there we had an opportunity you know and i i want to say i don't regret that i really want to say that because you want to put points up when you can but you know how often are you going to have a play action where nobody blocks the ends i mean this isn't the cowboys for god's sakes where we leave pass rushing defensive ends completely unblocked but we did and now we only have a 10 nothing lead so got to got to take care of that and coming up in the second half now let's jump into checking out some scores from around the league. Chiefs and the Ravens in Baltimore. Ravens leading 7-0. Jackson having a perfect first half, 5-for-5. Five five. And I don't know how Mahomes is only 1-2 two for 6 yards at the end of the second quarter, but whatever. And then NFC East matchup rivalry. Cowboys leading the Commanders 14-3. Prescott 6-7 with two touchdowns for the Commanders. Deuce Vaughn, he's got 10 rushing yards. Now we head over to Texas and Houston as the Packers are on the road. The Texans and C.J. Stroud are leading them as the first half comes to a close. They lead 13-7. Stroud 8-13 for 95 yards so far. So now let's jump back into our game here in the second half, only leading 10 to nothing because we neglected to go for the field goal as the Bucks are on the move to open up their uh, the second half on their opening drive. Mike Evans made that catch as he went down to the ground, picking up nine yards, so second and one here from the 15. Tannehill under center, three tight ends to the left side. He hands it off, going to the right, and nobody's going to be there. Nobody was within, you know, 20 yards of him as the ball got handed to him. Everybody was going to the left, and he just hauls it into the right side. Not, not, not anybody within the same area code, for God's sakes. And he goes waltzing in 
just completely untouched and unthought of and now they've cut into our lead so now we're going to jump ahead to the fourth quarter where we have added on a field goal but the bucks trail 13 to 7 as they are on the move once again rashad white breaking tackles making cuts and he's brought down after a gain of seven so we lead our defense has done a good job all game but man you can only do so much as a defense. Our offense has been struggling this second half. We've only eked out one field goal. So second and three. Bucks on the move. Three tight ends to the right side. They have the snap. Fires it over the middle, and he's going to make the catch, and Ojolari tries to hit it out of him, but unable to do so. Alford, that's his fifth catch. He's got about 40 yards on the afternoon. He goes down at the 10, so that is going to be a goal-to-go situation here. So first and goal now. Bucks in a shotgun formation. Tannehill has the snap. Quick throw out to the right side. He makes a catch and is brought down. Buda Baker does a great job on the tackle there to bring down the receiver. Right down Gage, who's got three catches but only seven yards on the afternoon. So second and goal now from about the nine-yard line. Tannehill's under center, two tight ends. He hands it off to White up the middle. As he found some space, Verdon got put on his keister. And now Cole Knight's going to go down injured. What is his problem? Like I said, I, I knew his injury rating was tough when we got in. Hopefully, you know, he'll develop. I don't know if that be, makes you become tougher or not. I hope it does, but we'll see. So he comes out for a little bit. Third and goal now. The Bucks in the shotgun have the snap. They fired over the middle, and that's going to be caught by Godwin. And the Bucks are going to take the lead. They had to know, it could technically be 16 to 7. If I had just been smart enough to go for the field goal. But hey, it happens. We're still in this game. A lot of football left, ladies and gentlemen. Lots of football left. And speaking of that, here we come back on our drive to try to respond. Trailing now by one point. Score 14 to 13. Hand off to Mostert. Going to the left side. Their defensive line stood our offensive line up. And we had nowhere to go. Bucks are generally one of the worst defenses and points allowed so far this season, but we've only put up 13 on them. Offense struggling to say the least. Second and nine, we're going to come out in a shotgun. Four wide set as we have the snap. Stand in the clean pocket. Fired over. What was he doing? Didn't see the linebacker sitting there, and he's on the return back to the 30, the 25, and we finally chase him down. Davis Gaither was, I don't, I don't know what tune was singing. He just didn't see him. He was following the end pattern, but did not see Gaither standing there and basically hit him right in the face mask with it. So here come the Bucks now with the rejuvenated offense on the rollout to the left side, fired over to hit their tight end, and he picks up nine yards. Alford with a good gain on that one. Tannehill on the play action rollout. So just over eight minutes to go, scores 14 to 13. Bucks leading our Cardinals, second and one for the Buccaneers. They have the snap, handoff to the left side. Rashad White now starting to get some momentum going. He's got about 98 yards on 22 carries. He's starting to find some space, though. Our defense is getting a little worn down here, and I think that was kind of to be expected, hoping our offense could put together a drive instead of a turnover. As now they hand that one off, going to the right side, unable to make the initial tackle. Buda Baker finally comes in and brings him down after the game to the four-yard line. They still give Cole as a tackle just because he was the first one to disrupt it. But whatever. So now it's second and goal from the four. As they're going to go with a heavier formation. Three tight ends to the left side. Let's see if they run it off to the right side once again. They had the snap. It's actually going to be a play action. Verdon chasing down Tannehill, and he gets rid of it before he could get the sack. Oh, man, that was close. If he could have sacked him all the way back at about the 20-yard line where he threw it, that would have been a major style of play. Now it's third and goal here from the four. Tampa Bay is going to spread us out a little bit. Makes me nervous as Tannehill is going to be alone in the backfield. Has the snap. Pressure comes, but Godwin, he actually does drop it. Godwin dropped that one in the end zone. Pressure was coming, got rid of it a little early, but that still forces a field goal. So now trailing by four, we're coming back just under five minutes. Toon drops back. He's going to hit Deontay Blair on the screen pass and a horrible block 
I mean, maybe Blair could have cut it up to the, up the middle, could have cut it to the right a little bit. But still, you expect your lineman to kind of hold a block better than that. And as he only picks up seven yards. So second and three now. We are at the 36-yard line on the plus side, needing a touchdown, though. Toon hands that one off to Mostert. Oh, there's a hole, and he fumbles. Raheem Mostert fumbles. And that's going to be recovered by the defense. You've got to be kidding me. Oh, that's disappointing to see. That is absolutely disappointing. Now needing a stop more than ever. Two minutes remaining in the game. We only have one timeout. And this time Rashad White just runs up the gut. What, what are we even doing now, ladies and gentlemen? What happened? Rashad Evans. We, I know we only had one timeout. Don't get me wrong. But that's enough to give us 10 seconds, maybe, which is 10 seconds worth of hope. And we just blew it on that one play. And, yeah, disappointing loss on the road. A game that, you know, we did add one garbage time touchdown in there at the end, made it 24-21, which makes that fourth and goal stand even more more hurtful, the fact we didn't go for the field goal. But live and learn, ladies and gentlemen. Live and learn. Because the sun will rise tomorrow, and there's an, always another game in the season. If Once you reach the end, you have another season. So think of it that way. There's another game in life, at least. And now we are going to return back to the friendly confines of Arizona, our home stadium, as we are going to take on division rival Geno Smith, DK Metcalf, and the Seattle Seahawks here. Um, and this is a big-time game for us. Like I said, we've been up and down. Now we're at home. We really need to bounce back. But before we do that, they GM called us into his office, had us nervous. As If you all followed our, any previous series, you know I've been fired before in this game. Um, <laughs> it's not the case. He just wants us to look at a, at a player to see what our thoughts are about him. Defensive tackle Matthew Reddick. We do need a defensive tackle, but you know I'm not I'm not sure if it's going to be one of our top picking points in the draft. We'll have to see. Especially Matthew Reddick. He is a projected second and third round pick, but we'll put some eyes on him. We definitely need to have some focus scouting, so he is going to be one of those guys that we're going to take a look at uh, moving forward. I said I think our offense is pretty well shored up. Maybe some offensive line work. Um, we definitely need just because some of those guys are getting a little bit older, getting a little on up there. So we will have to keep a watch on that. Um, but I think a pretty good focus on the defensive side, right? If we can continue to shore up our defensive line, you know, Verdon up the middle is great. I think we really probably want to work on getting some solid defensive ends. And then um, Ojolari and the linebacker – core coming out of the left side if we could pick up a pretty strong right sided linebacker as well I think that would be a pretty big thing for us so after taking a look at some of that scouting let's go ahead and jump on into this game and here on the first play of the game for us as we pick up four yards in that rush Raheem Mostert did a good job finding the little hole squirming through out there on that right side picking up the four making it second and six so a decent start, I guess a four-yard gain on the ground. I will take it. So second and six, Toon going to be in the shotgun. Three receivers to the left side, making changes before the snap. Has it. Quick throw over. He's got Hollywood Brown right up the seam, who's still running, breaking a tackle down to the 25, pushing forward and brought down at the 22-yard line. Big-time play by this Cardinals offense. Quick thinking there, seeing what looked like a blitz coming. So he knew – who knew even if they were to drop back in the zone with Hollywood being in the slot there's no way that linebacker drops back fast enough no way that happens and he nails them right up the seam for a big time gain down to the 22 yard line here and that's going to set us up with the first and 10 and momentum hurriedly going in our direction Toon sticking to the shotgun once again. Three receivers. Has the snap. Hands off to Mostert. Going to the left side. Tries to push forward. And Mostert's going to go down with an injury. He's going to be down. He's going to be coming off the field for at least a little bit. Hopefully it's not too bad. They haven't taken him back into the locker room just yet. So we will have to keep a watch on that. But Deontay Blair, he, 
he, he's going to get his opportunity now to be a full-time back. Second and eight here after that injury. We're going to be in an eye formation. Toon, play action. Stands in a clean pocket. Fires it over to the left side looking for Hollywood. Risky throw there. A lot of Seahawk defenders in that zone. And thankfully it just gets knocked down. So third and eight. Toon going in the shotgun. Three receivers, two back set. Looking over the defense, has the snap. Drops off a screen pass to the left side. Deontay Blair, he's got space, lowered his shoulder and is finally pushed out at the seven. And what a block by our lineman. Who was that, Will Hernandez that got out there and just laid out the Seahawk defender. That's the kind of block we expect to see that didn't come last game. But he got to it this game and that sets us up with the first and goal from the seven. Toon staying in the shotgun, still three receivers to the left. Ertz, slot right, has the snap. Stands in a pocket, fires it over. He's got Blair pushing forward, and Blair picks up three yards. Caught him in the right flat going out towards the sideline, and picks up three yards as the defense closed in on him. He just couldn't push forward any further. So now it's second and goal at the four. Trying to get this thing pushed in. We've struggled here in goal line situations for the most part this season. Need to turn that around. On a second and goal, it's going to be an option. Deontay Blair has it, and he's walking it into the end zone. Well, not walking in. He's fighting his way in. But, oh, my goodness. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Deontay Blair pushing forward and getting through and getting into the end zone to give us an early lead here in this one at home against our rival Seattle. As Toon almost punched a defender there in that celebration. But you got to remember, Seattle has an offense, too. And here they are on the field as Vernon misses the tackle. And Walker went right past him. A lot more speed than what Vernon anticipated. But Ojolari was there to clean it up four yards down the field, making it second and six. Smith now in the shotgun. He's got Smith and Jigba in the slot right. Smith has the snap. Bring a blitz. Fires it over, and he hits Disley. Right down the seam, kind of how we did Hollywood, but Disley is no Hollywood. And that's going to be uh, picked up for a first and 10 down to the 24-yard line. Now the Seahawks are going to come out under center, two tight ends to the right side. As the snap play action pressure comes from Verdon, he's going to hit him and bring him down for the sack. Taylor Verdon got in the backfield, sacked Smith before he could get rid of the ball, and that's going to be a big-time play for that rookie as he has shown up this season and played incredibly well, especially for a defensive tackle. And, you know, the things that they got to deal with down there in the trenches, he's learning pretty damn well, and he's starting to become a solid defensive player here, someone who really can stand out amongst the crowd. So after that sack, the Seahawks are pushed back to the 27. It's only a three-yard loss. Smith did a good job shifting his way in the pocket to avoid losing too many yards. So second and 13, Smith is going to be under center. Still two tight ends in the formation. Walker in the backfield has the snap. Fires it off to the right side. He's got Disley all alone. And Samuels is going to bring him down for after a gain of about, what was that, 13 yards, 14 yards? Right there all the way down to the 13-yard line. Disley just got away from his defender and then brought down after he got to the line to gain. So first and 10, hands off to Walker as we miss one tackle. Looks like Collins went to try to lay down the hammer and he just ended up laying down instead. Completely whiffing on that one, making it second and five. From the eight yard line, the Seahawks methodically moving down the field, just getting little chunk plays at a time. As Smith is gonna be under center, three tight ends to the right side now, hands it off to Walker, cuts back. And what a great play to bring him down. He had the cutback lane, but we didn't overplay it. Isaiah Rogers comes up and makes the sack, or not the sack, but the tackle. After about another three yard gain, making it third and one. So Seahawks gonna be in a pistol formation this time. Three receivers set. DK Metcalf to the left, has the snap, fires it quickly over the middle to Jackson Smith and Jigba. And that's gonna be a touchdown for the Seahawks. As he just crossed the goal line, he was hit as contact as the ball was met, uh, caught, but he was across the goal line and that is gonna be a touchdown. Quick throw right over the middle and an accurate throw as well. 
And so that's going to get this game tied up here in the first quarter. So here we come right back at them. All right, this looks like it's going to be a haymaker style of game. First and 10. Toon drops back way too far, but fires it to the deep to the left side, and he's got Blair on the wheel route. What a throw by Toon. And step back to give himself the time to allow Blair to get out in the open. He was up against the linebacker. We had to give him the space, and Toon delivered a brilliant throw over to Blair once he got behind the linebacker. Makes the catch down the left side all the way into the red zone here at the 19-yard line with that big-time catch. So first and 10 now from the 19. Toon's going to be under center, two tight ends. He's got Blair in the backfield all alone. Hands it off, going to the right side. He's got some space, makes a cut. Pushing forward, Deontay Blair picks up six yards. He's got 21 yards after his third carry of the day on that one. And that's going to make it second and four from the 12th. Just under five minutes remaining here in the first quarter. Trying to retake the lead. Toon going to be in a shotgun. He's got three receivers. He has the snap. It's going to be an RPO that's almost intercepted. Misread Jamal Adams on that one. Ooh, thank God he's got cement for hands, at least in this game. It probably should have handed it off, but the play looked to be busted either way. So now it's third and four. Here after that almost interception, Toon has the snap. Fires it over the middle. He's got Watkins coming across the middle. He gets brought down at the four-yard line. But that is enough to pick up the first down. Now it's first and goal from the four. Toon with already with over 121 passing yards here in this game and in this quarter alone. First and goal now from the four. Toon in the shotgun. Three receivers. Has the snap. Hands it off to Blair. Going to the left side. He's going to punch it into the end zone. Touchdown number two for Deontay Blair. The rookie had to step up with Moster going down, and he said, not a problem. Will do, sir. As he takes his second touchdown of the day in, and all I can say about that is, oh, my goodness. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Deontay Blair is on fire. So after that touchdown by our offense, once again, here comes the Seahawk offense. As we're gonna, Smith is going to play action. He's going to get hit and dropped. Watkins got back there on the second down, and that's going to make it third and 16 from the 28. You know, getting chunk plays, you get something like a sack happen. You can really put a hamper in their offense. And that was a big-time play by our defense there as it's third and 16 now. Smith is going to be in the shotgun, has the snap, pressure comes. Collins is going to chase him down, back-to-back -back sacks. And that's another loss of eight on the play, making it fourth and 24 now for this Seahawk offense. And our defense has really pushed them back here. Great job on the timing of the blitz. And Collins, great job making that tackle. So with that stop, we're going to come back out with possession of the ball after forcing them to punt in pretty decent field position. First and 10 from the 48. Hands off to Blair. Makes a cut up the middle. Pushing forward and still going. Blair fighting for every yard. He's got 37 on six carries and the two touchdowns on the ground there in the first quarter. He's having a hell of a game, especially after that run all the way down to the 36-yard line, making it first and 10. For this Cardinals offense, we are on the move, playing efficient here, needing to keep it up and be consistent. Toon in the shotgun, has the snap. They bring a blitz, fires it over the middle quickly. He's got Rondell Moore running away from his man, fighting off another tackler, but he's finally brought down at the 26-yard line. Toon is 10 of 14 for 140 yards in this one, having a great first half. So first and 10 now from the 26, trying to extend this lead to make it a two-score ball game. Toon under center, three tight ends. Quick throw over to Hollywood on the left side, pushing forward on that RPO. Unable to, he got four yards. We'd like to see him get more, but unable to escape the tackle. And he's brought down for just a four-yard gain. So now second and six here from the 22. Toon is going to be under center in an I formation here. Blair in the backfield. Shepard in the fullback position. Has the snap. Hands it off to the right side. Makes a cut up the middle. Deontay Blair pushing forward all the way down to the 12. Picking up mass chunks of yards for this rookie. Showing he belongs here in the NFL. 
So first and 10 now from the 12 yard line. Here we are still in the second quarter, just over 10 minutes remaining, trying to make this thing a two score game. As we come out set, three tight ends to the right side. Once again, Blair alone in the backfield. Hollywood wide left, has the snap. It's gonna be a play action. Rolling out to the right side, throws it over for Shepard. Pretty piss poor pass there by <laughs> Toon. Not gonna lie, Woolen had an easy jump up to knock that one down. Almost made the interception. So second and 10, Toon under center, two tight ends. Has the snap, hands it off to Blair, going to the left side, he's got space. Pushing forward, Deontay Blair, trying to get a third touchdown in the half. He picks up all the way down to the one, though. Blair is playing like a man possessed. He's got the first two scores, figuring why not give me the third. So that's first and goal here for this Cardinals offense from the one. <coughs> trying to figure out where are we going to try to set them up. We're going to, I think, try to go a heavy set formation. Now, we do put Corey Clements in the backfield this time. One, give Blair a little bit of rest. He's had a rough day going for the quarterback sneak, and that was embarrassing. Toon got nowhere. This is nice. They have not put the tush push in. And I don't, they're probably going to for the next one, let's be honest. But it's not in this game. Pushing like that is not in this game. So, unable to get the touchdown on the first and goal. Now it's second and goal. It's going to be a play action. Toon throws it out to the right side. He had Shepard, but Jamal Adams knocks that one away. So it's third and goal. Starting to get flashbacks from last game when we are leading 10 to nothing at the end of the first half. Third and goal here. 14 to 7 is our lead. Toon in a shotgun. Looking over the defense here. Three wide, has a snap. It's going to be an option. Keeper pushing forward. Toon unable to go anywhere with it. Stays at the one-yard line. Fourth and goal. And the call is to go for it. Have we learned our lesson? No. But we got guts at least. Fourth and goal. Toon in the shotgun. Hands it off to Blair. Going over. Touchdown number three in the first half. Oh, my goodness. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Dance with the one that brung you, and Blair got us here, so that he's going to take us home. As we put that one into the end zone, his third touchdown of the first half, and that's going to extend this thing out to a two-score lead for us here, 21-7 to at home against our division rival, the Seattle Seahawks. And the first half would end basically with the same score. We did add on an additional field goal, 24-7. to is where it stands, a 17-point lead for us in this game. So let's check out some other scores from around the league here at halftime and see what do we have working as we try to get the graphics pulled up. Now division matchup there on the West Coast, the 49ers at L.A. as they do have the lead, Purdy, two touchdowns over Stafford's none as the 49ers lead 14 to nothing. Sticking on the west side there in Las Vegas, Steelers are trailing the Raiders 21 to nothing. There's Kenny Pickett's thrown for 46 and an interception. Garoppolo still on the Raiders has 89 yards and a touchdown. Jacobs with another touchdown himself on the ground. Heading over to Cincinnati as the Broncos and the Bengals battle. 21 all here in the Battle of the Bees. Mac Jones for the Broncos, three touchdowns. Burroughs got one. So let's jump back into our game after checking on those scores as we lead 24-7 as the Seahawks have possession here trying to come back with it as they throw it over to Lockett and I'm not sure what the hell Wilson was thinking. He went diving off to the sideline like Lockett wasn't even there and I don't know what he was, I couldn't tell you what he was thinking why he did that. But they pick up nine yards making it third and one now as they come set under center. Smith. Play action. He's going to get hit and brought down by Ojolari. A sack once again as they failed to block the edge. That's going to be the fifth sack for our defense here as we are playing on fire, getting a lot of pressure from off those edges, and especially on those play actions when you don't bite on them. It just makes your life that much easier as that's going to force them to punt. Now we're going to jump a little ahead here to the fourth quarter. Both offenses have been kind of stagnant. Defensive playing pretty decent. Mostert is going to be back in the game now here in the second half. As we hand that one off to him, he picks up six yards, getting us down to the 26-yard line on the plus side of the field here. 
Still leading 24 to 7. Like I said, no change. Things have kind of leveled off from the fiery first half that we had. So second and four from the 26. Toon is going to be in the shotgun. We got three receivers. Hollywood is in the slot left. Ertz slot right. Blair offset to the right of Toon in the backfield. Has the snap. He's got a clean pocket. Fires it over. He hits Hollywood. Breaks one tackle and gets brought down at the four. Risky throw, but, man, his confidence is building as he fired that one and dropped it in perfectly into that zone. And Hollywood did a great job of running to the ball and being where he needed to be to make that catch and avoiding the big hit from Adams. That was a big little move. Adams known for jarring the ball loose but unable to make contact as that gets us brought down to the four-yard line with a first and goal. So first and goal, Toon is going to be in the shotgun formation as we got three receivers once again to the left side. Moore this time is in the slot right. Has the snap. Toon. Rolling out to the right. He's going to take it himself. Two to the pylon. Touchdown, Cardinals. Oh, my goodness. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Clayton Toon forcing his way in. Said he can run, too. And once he decided to take off, there was no stopping him. The defender that was watching him, the lineman, just couldn't, didn't have the speed to catch up to him. And Toon is going to get into the end zone. Now the Seahawks are trying a little bit of a comeback here. It's still 31, but now they have 20. So it's an 11-point ball game. They fire that one over the middle. That's going to be knocked down from first and 10 to second and 10 here with a minute 40 seconds remaining as we try to prevent a miracle from happening. You do not want to have a miracle in the desert occur. Second and 10. Smith is going to be in a shotgun formation. He's making changes before the snap has it. And here comes Puna Ford chasing him. Smith rolling out to his right side as he's going to take off and just throw that one away. I'm not sure what the hell that was all about. Could not tell you that. But he does throw it away for some ungodly reason. Now it's third and ten for the Seahawks offense. As Smith is going to be in the shotgun still. Has the snap. Blitz comes. Pressure off the side and he's going to be brought down. He gets brought down by Wilson, so that's 4th and 18, and now they're going to go hurry up because they have no timeouts left. As we bring a blitz again, he rolls out to the right, throws that one up. It's going to be knocked down by Baker, and that's going to be all she wrote in this one. And that's the kind of play that will seal the deal for us as we get back in the win column once again. It seems to be up and down this roller coaster of Clayton Toon. In our offense, need to try to find some better consistency. But we will take the win when we can get it, is all I'm going to say. 31 to 20 over division rival. That's going to put us back in at what, 7 and 3 on the season, I think. Yeah, 7 and 3 on the season. Still a lot more stuff to go as well. We should be expecting to have uh, Logan Schultz coming back here pretty quick. So stay tuned for that. Hit that subscribe button if you have not hit it already. And definitely hit that bell icon to be notified of all our Champ and Sons uploads that we do. And thank you all for all the support. Thank you all for joining us in this episode. I will see you all in the next one. So as always, everybody, stay safe. And well, y'all know how it goes by now, right? Later, y'all. <laughs>